A tiny house built before tiny homes became trendy is up for sale in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Its asking price may well be the definition of sticker shock. Two million dollars. Well, we sent Dustin Bunkowski to find out how a postage stamp sized cottage could be so valuable. On the other side of a lichen covered fence and fading baby blue trim that's been uncool for decades is a cottage. It's small, an itty bitty cube that sits squarely under a tree. I mean, I can fall over in any part of the house and land in my bed. That's great. Judson Call rents out this humble house. He's moved across the river from Kittery, where he grew up. He loves his slice of Portsmouth South End, situated on a drive slow because it's narrow type street, around the corner from a lobster pound. The people here, Judson says, are friendly and will wave when you walk by. Yeah, shout out to Scott the mailman. Awesome mailman. Everybody in the neighborhood loves you. That neighborhood and its seaside charm are the selling point for this one-time candy store turned residence. But if you've come to 445 Marcy Street looking for a sweet deal, a pint-sized home at a pint-sized price, think again. The agents trying to find this place a new owner are asking for a mountain of moolah, $2 million. So this is an unusual opportunity to have an unusually large piece of property within the neighborhood that you can build something new on. Liz Levy Prine is the realtor with her name on the side outside that tiny house that, as she just explained, sits on a rather large lot for the area. In most of Maine, 0.34 acres is barely someone's backyard garden, but a parcel that size on the coast, especially in a city bursting with new construction, new restaurants, plenty of places to walk a small sweater dog, it could potentially fit two whole homes. Back probably in the earlier days, it was a nasty neighborhood, as was much of Portsmouth. There were brothels. Brothels that many years later have been replaced by Volvos and BMWs. Homes around the corner from the candy shop cottage lot have sold for 1.6 and $1.3 million. It's a wonderful place to live and people want to be here. It's just a matter of finding enough inventory for the people that want to live there. That is the conundrum facing Portsmouth and communities on the main part of the seacoast. Where will that inventory come from? Will the market balance itself out? Will a little blue house behind a lichen covered fence really sell for $2 million? In Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Dustin Lukowski, News Center, Maine.